On the fourth Sunday of Advent, we read about the birth of Jesus, the Messiah, in Matthew 1, beginning with verse 18. And I want to focus on one verse within that, which is really from the prophet. Look, the virgin will conceive and bear a son, and they shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. That is the best news of all, that God is with us. And I want you to claim that in these days of Advent as we approach Christmas, that in Jesus, God is with us. Uh, in John's Gospel, it says, the Word became flesh and lived among us. Uh, one translation says, the Word became flesh and moved into the neighborhood that God is incarnate among us in Jesus. And that means we feel the closeness of God, God's reality with us in Jesus. I think it also means we long to be with each other and especially with those whom we love. One of the ways we know that God is with us is when God's people surround us. And so this Christmas, I want to encourage you to try to grow closer to God and to sense God's nearness, the promise of Emmanuel. But I also want to encourage you to try to make that real for someone else. I remember one Christmas in our household, I was a pastor. We had, uh, our church had received persons who were fleeing from Hurricane Katrina. They were relocated in Florida. And we had a Christmas meal uh, at our home that my wife Pam made. And there were several persons from New Orleans who were there. Uh, th I felt especially close to God that Christmas because I knew that we were creating some kind of community where someone else felt a little more of the reality of God because of really Pam's hospitality uh, in that meal. So this Christmas, I, I encourage you to claim the truth of the gospel. God is with us, Emmanuel. And as a human being, try to make that real for someone else. God bless you.